Okay, well, welcome everybody. This is uh, Mark, and uh, the object of this short video is just to take you through the iDive Sharks application. Uh, here you can see the icon right here, so let's tap that. It's uh, landscape orientation, so I just orient it straight away that way. Okay, to start off with, you have your home screen and six buttons. Top left, you have Sharks in Peril, which leads you to a page that highlights the plight of sharks, the overfishing, um, and at the end of it tells you pretty much how many sharks have died during the time it's taking you to read this short message. Okay, uh, there's a little logo in the middle of the base of the screen. That one will always take you back to the home screen. Okay, so whenever you're in any part of the application you need to go home, you push that icon there. It does not appear on when you're in the home screen. Okay. One of the main features of the app is called the Shark Finder, that's here. Okay, and what that does, we've got 20 species of sharks inside uh, the application. On this one you see we have, we're on the basking shark. It runs with a picker, and every time you change the name of the shark in the picker by scrolling, you'll notice that the thumbnail accompanying that species also changes. If you want to find out about um, any one particular shark, let's say the Great Hammerhead, you select your species here and that then takes you to an information page about the Great Hammerhead. It gives you all of the information, the Latin name, maximum length, uh, etc, etc. And then along the bottom of the page, along the bottom of the screen here, you have, starting from your left, you have an information button, you have a distribution button, you have your home button, uh, and your dive shop uh, operation. To see dive operations that run trips for the Great Hammerhead, quite simply push on the, the small dive mask and that then is going to bring you up with a couple of dive operators that do the Great Hammerhead trip. Uh, let's pick Jim's shop here. Okay, that then takes you to all of the information pertinent to the uh, operator that you've just selected. If you want to come back to the picker, you have a return button just at the back here. At the bottom right, that will take you back to the address book and once again it will take you back to the picker. And then you can carry on your search. If you want to do the great white, okay, you click on your species overview, you look at your great white, all of your information is there. Scrollable, okay, let's have a look at the operators this time. Uh, much wider selection of operators, obviously the white shark being one of the more enigmatic sharks for interaction. Um, so let's just pick another one. Let's have a look at Shark Diver. Same again, all of the information that you need, hot links to the telephone, email and website. Okay, uh, we'll go back to the operators. If you wanted to check a different operator, uh, you, they're all there at your fingertip control. Okay, let's go back to the Shark Picker. Okay, um, you've got two buttons here, but they also appear when you're on your home screen. Let's go information here. Okay, this is just an overview of shark diving, very simple, very basic. Um, go back to your home screen and bottom right hand you have a warning. And this is just a warning screen that, that shows people or that explains to people that you know, when, you're doing, when you are shark diving, you really need to make sure that you, you choose your operator carefully. Uh, make sure they're a professional operation. There's a lot of people getting in on the act now. Um, and just throwing people in the water willy-nilly with sharks, so be very careful. Okay, just a warning screen there. Let's go home. Okay, um, you have another feature here, pick a trip. Okay, you select that. Um, there are five or six different types of trip. You have educational, feeding, scuba, snorkeling, cage diving, or natural. Okay, all of those are self-explanatory. Naturally occurring uh, encounters, cage diving, snorkeling trips, trips that include uh, the use of scuba, um, specific feeding dives, and educational. So most of them can be educational. Um, let's go, for example, to scuba. Let's go to the view of the operators, and all of these are just dive operators. They're direct links to operators that do particular scuba um, and shark interaction excursions. Okay, if you want to go back, you go back to the picker again. You can pick another type of uh, encounter. We're going for snorkeling. Okay, you have whale shark snorkeling in Australia, um, whale shark snorkeling Mozambique, Philippines. Okay, so pretty self-explanatory. Okay, we'll go back to the picker, we'll go home. 
Uh, okay, from next one is the dive shops, and this is pretty much just a uh, an address book for all of the operators that are listed in the in the um, app, of which there are 31. Um, pick on any one of these, uh, for example, Manta Ray Bay Hotel and Yap Divers. Okay, there's all their information there. Okay, uh, the logo, all of their hot links for their telephone and web and email. Okay, and the same for all of the other dive operators. Okay, uh, one of the main features is the slideshow. Okay, but this, uh, this slideshow lasts for about um, one and a half minutes. So I'm not really gonna play the whole lot. It's gonna make it very, uh, very long and drawn out. Okay, um, always kicking off with this fantastic image of, uh, from uh, Colin Lee. And then it goes through about 50 or 60 different um, shark images, incredible shark images from some very, very talented uh, photographers. Okay, let's get out of here. Press stop. That's gonna take us then and back and back again and we're back to the main screen. Okay, last button, self-explanatory, credits, just to scroll all the way through of everybody that's had a part of the uh, that requires a thank you for being part of the of the app, making it possible, and then there's the email contact and the website contact there as well for idivesharks.com. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, short presentation. Now, please, 20% of the profits of this app go to shark conservation. So, for a dollar ninety-nine, go and do your part. Thank you very much.